Scooby-Doo and the Magic Pumpkins by Michelle H. Nagler. Scooby and the gang were decorating a haunted house for Halloween. They carved scary faces on two pumpkins. Scooby was afraid of the pumpkins. Shaggy hung cobwebs on the windows. Daphne and Fred dressed up as ghosts. Velma played spooky music. The music made noises that went woo and creak and boo. The neighbors were excited to visit the haunted house. Scooby and Shaggy collected their tickets and placed them in a box. But one little girl, Amy, was frightened. She was scared of ghosts and the pumpkins with the scary faces. It's just make-believe, Velma said. I'm not a real ghost, said Daphne, but Scooby is scared of pumpkins too, Amy thought. The next day, the house looked different. The box was lying on its side on the table. The tickets were scattered on the floor. Look, said Daphne, the pumpkins are different. Scooby picked up a pumpkin. The pumpkin was smiling now. Scooby thought it looked much better. Like, maybe the house really is haunted, said Shaggy. Jinkies, said Velma. Haunted pumpkins? Let's look for clues, said Fred. Daphne, Velma, and I will look outside the house. Shaggy, you and Scooby look inside. Row away, said Scooby. The house is haunted, said Shaggy. Would you do it for Scooby snacks? Daphne asked. Row okay, said Scooby. Scooby and Shaggy heard a noise, but it was just a tree scratching the windows. They then saw a creepy figure outside. Look, yelled Shaggy, a ghost, but it was only a shadow from the tree. Like, let's search the kitchen, Scoob, Shaggy said. Scooby and Shaggy did not find any clues in the kitchen, but they did find a pumpkin pie on the table. As they were eating the pie, they heard loud, spooky noises. Zoinks, Shaggy said, it's the ghost. Scooby ran up the stairs and out the door. Fred and Daphne were looking outside in the leaves for clues. We heard the ghost, yelled Shaggy. Rah, said Scooby. Scooby slipped on some leaves and tumbled down the steps. Scooby landed a bunch of giant a giant bunch of leaves. Look, Velma said, Scooby found footprints and a trail of tickets too, said Daphne. Let's follow the footprints, said Fred. Yeah, Shaggy said. Let's get away from the ghost making all the noise in the house. That was no ghost, Velma said. I was testing the music recording. The gang followed the trail of footprints and tickets through the yard. It led around a big tree to some smelly garbage cans. Yuck, said Daphne. Velma looked inside a garbage can. She found one of the scary-faced pumpkins they had carved. What are the pumpkins doing here, asked Fred. I have an idea, said Velma. Scooby, can you keep following the trail? Scooby put his nose to the ground. The trail led to Amy's house. Scooby looked scared of the pumpkins, like I was, so I switched them, Amy explained. And you knocked over the box of tickets by accident, said Fred. Oops, said Amy. I just wanted to make everyone happy. Shaggy laughed. Like that makes me happy. We thought the house was haunted. Rah, said Scooby. Amy climbed on Scooby and gave him a big hug. Scooby-dooby-doo, barked Scooby. The end.